I will discuss the top kidney damaging drugs. More than in 1 billion patients and they can cause acute interstitial nephritis and renal damage. I am Dr. Ibadur Rahman from Evercare Hospital, working as senior consultant. I will discuss the top kidney damaging drugs, which are commonly used in hospital and OPD settings. The common damaging drugs are PPI or protein pump inhibitors. Among them are pantoprazole, omeprazole, and esimeprazole. They are given more than in 1 billion patients and they can cause acute interstitial nephritis and renal damage, which can be easily treated by withdrawing the drugs. Second group is ACE and ARB, which are used to save the kidneys, but sometimes they do the opposite, especially if you are having flu and also corona and diarrhea. The third group is antibiotics. Most notorious of them is gentamicin, amikacin, cholestin, and vancomycin. They are actually commonly used in ICU setup and in critical patients. The third group is transplant medication, which are used to save the transplant, but they sometimes do the opposite, especially cyclosporin and tacrolimus, which can actually, the higher level of these can actually damage the kidney. The fifth group is anti-tumor medication, especially cisplatin, which is extremely damaging to the kidneys. 30% AKI are drug-related, 7% are hospital-acquired drug-related AKI. 30% in ICU who are having acute renal failure are actually drug-related. The mechanisms by which drug causes injury are acute interstitial nephritis, glomerulonephritis, microhemodynamic vascular change, obstructive mechanisms like topiramide, which is used in migraine, microcrystal and rapidly pro progressive glomerular nephritis, which is very rare. Contrast nephropathy, which is extremely common, especially those who have pre-existing renal disease and diabetes. Thank you for watching our video episode. Our next video will be on CKD-related anemia.